Madison has invited her parents to lunch to deliver some exciting and quite unexpected news. I mean, so <laughs> oh my beautiful. God, it Thank really you. is exquisite. I still can't believe you're engaged. I know, Mom. He, right? He's really so perfect. I know. <laughs> but it all happened so fast. We don't even know anything about this lucky guy. What does he do? Well, his name is Eric, okay, and he's a doctor. Okay, I think I'm thinking country club. They seem genuinely happy for her until. Hey, babe. I love pink. Uh, is this a friend of yours? Chad, this is my fiance Eric. Pleasure to meet you, sir. It's not the surprise Dad was expecting, and he makes his displeasure known. Your fiance? This is a joke, right? No, 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 no. This is not going to work. If you overheard these parents... You can say sayonara to the country club. ...spewing racist and hateful comments to their daughter's fiancé... Maddie, we raised you better than this. Mom, Dad, please. Marriage is hard enough without this interracial problem. What would you do? Why now, Merv? Something's going on over there. Our hidden cameras are rolling at Bernard's Cafe in Bernardsville, New Jersey. Parents, we're going to see the parents. This first customer is also newly engaged in what's happening at the next table. How will he react when the parents disapprove of their daughter's fiance? Hi. Is this a friend of yours? No, Dad, this is Eric, my fiance. So nice to finally meet you guys. This is your fiance? Yeah. Uh, not what we were expecting, honey. I don't get it. A second ago, you were planning my wedding, you're happy, and now you're being weird. Erin, I'm sure you're a really nice person. It's really nothing against you. We just want you to marry someone who looks more like us. As our parents storm away, this gentleman calmly waves the couple over. Come on over, pal. Have a seat. I feel bad for you guys. Oh, I appreciate that. I got an older daughter, 26. Yeah, let's face it, my, my daughter's brought home some people that were like, all right, whatever, but you don't treat people like that. Do you think we should like postpone the wedding? Yeah, if, you, if you're just going to make you happy, you got to follow your heart. You have to follow your heart. That's you, too. You're not going to get anywhere living somebody else's life. Yeah. Heartfelt advice from a loving father to the young couple. But will he be as compassionate with the parents? I'm sorry. It was a little bit of a shock for us. Maybe, but not the way it is. Sorry. This guy's Asian. So what? It's your beliefs, his mind is not made of metal, so I think they should be happy. You guys got excited. So you think we're wrong? I do. Honestly. We roll again. You bring us here in a public place to, to, to break this kind of news without telling us this? What do you mean, what kind of news? What kind of news? Look at this guy. Mom and Dad continue to put down Madison's fiance, and these two women can't bear to watch. I know this might come as a shock, and I am not trying to ambush you, no, but, I, but no. I really love your daughter. You seem like a nice guy and everything, but <laughs> this is never going to work. So I, 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 think, I think we got to go. Uh, with the parents gone, the women try and do what grandmas do best, comfort and inspire. So we empathize with you. We really do. That's so not a way for you. your parents to act. Thank you. you know, very emotional. I'll be, so tell, I'll be telling you, if my daughter <laughs> came home with somebody like that, I would be very happy. Yes. <laughs> I, seriously. You're going to have to talk to your mother and father, sit yeah. down and talk yeah. to them, and say, please get to know them. Don't walk away from them. Okay. No. If you truly love each other, don't walk away, because you Do know it's very hard to find away. somebody who loves you. Hi, I'm John Kenyonis, and this is part of a TV show. It's called, oh, stop it. It's What Would You Do? Oh, oh my God. God. How dare you? That is absolute <laughs> cruel. <laughs> was it hard to listen to the parents? Yes, talk? it was. I think today, life is very different from when I was growing up. Young adults now have a better chance with this, enjoying life together without being shunned, in a sense. It's a lesson these parents say they learned when their daughter fell in love. But one thing I found out, children will do what children will do. We have some very conservative Catholic families out in Dakotas, and our daughter met a Jewish man. They're loved. And they got married. They got married. They got three little boys right now, but it was a just before. Sure. And 
all works out in the all end. Worked okay. out better than we could ever imagine. Right. This last couple, Carol and Martin, have been married for nearly 60 years. That's an engagement ring? You got engaged? Yeah. Well, honey, we, I, we haven't even seen a picture of them. And the thought of new love has them all excited. Sorry, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Don't forget, as soon as she's married, you have the locksmith come in and change all the locks. But when the fiance arrives, the mood changes. It's, it's nothing about you, Eric, but we were expecting somebody different. Somebody a little bit more like us. Ten minutes ago, you were so excited. No offense. And now but you're being. This gentleman's Asian. I can't Is believe Is this that why you're you had this here instead of at our house? Being so ignorant about No, us. we're not being ignorant. Well, honey. We're being are. realistic. Come on, come on, let's cool you down. Come are on. you going to come Take back? Take a little break. Take a yes, we'll we're see, coming we'll back. Come see. on. I, I just come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. 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 And we don't even know you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Good Thank you. When our parents return, Carol Eisenberg doesn't scold them. Instead, she calmly reminds them of all the good their daughter's fiance has to offer. He's a nice looking man. Yes. And he's smart. Well, it's not easy for, for me my wife to accept that he's Asian. All right, but yeah. you're going to try real hard to get to know him. You will. Yeah. Now it's our turn to get to know this loving couple. Hi. How are you? Hi. My name is John Quinones. Oh, you're kidding. They were all actors. Everybody were actors? Yes. Oh. Were... <laughs> what was going through your mind? I couldn't I believe that. But I that's... don't think if it was a real situation, I don't think they would have handled it that way. I don't know. Oh, you don't so. know? Your mom didn't want you dating me if I was a Roman Catholic. Yeah, see, that's, <laughs> that's nothing anymore, any of that, you know, so. And it worked out. <laughs> We're not sure yet. <laughs>